Morning, MBTHS. My name is Amon Manning, and today I'll be interviewing students and faculty on their opinions concerning the new Durag rule. How do you feel about the new Durag rule? They should, like, take it off. Has an administrator ever told you to remove your Durag? Almost every day, but, like, I got to be spending, so, you know, can't let my, can't let my fans down. Will you be continuing to wear your Durags? Of course. Of course? Of course. Nice speaking to you. Here with Mr. Speller, and how do you feel about the new do-rag rule? Well, uh, initially, a couple of years ago, I asked if the do-rags could be allowed, and we went with it. However, in the year that just recently passed, we had a few issues with not being able to identify people when there were issues, specifically on the cameras and stuff. If they had do-rags on, if they had hoods on. So... It's kind of hard to tell our cameras aren't necessarily the best. And what we're really striving to do is to make sure everybody's safe. So when it became a security policy, um, I agreed, as all the other administrators did, to uh, rescind the do-rag and hoods and hats and all like that to make sure that you guys are safe. We don't want people coming in from other schools and not being able to know who they are. And we need to have everybody safe. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm here with Jaron Douglas. And uh, how do you feel about the new do rag rule? Uh, I feel like it's kind of like kind of ridiculous. Like if people want to wear their do rags, you know, get their waves spinning, they should be able to do it. Do you currently have your do rag on you right now? I do have my do rag on me right now. I got the do on me, the silky right here. Oh, uh, would you care about your consequences that you'll be given if you would be wearing that around school? Uh, probably a little bit if it's going on a report or something, you know. But otherwise, no. Okay, thank you for your time. I'm a mom maiden. And I'm Andrew Ramos. And that was MBTSS News. Thank you for your time.